Hey everybody, this is another YouTube battle, this time with Explode45 from YouTube itself. So I lead with Hippodon, he leads with um, Togekiss. And I really wasn't expecting a rest on here. I thought that, hey, it would do a lot of damage with his special move, but I didn't really expect Grass Knot. So I just set up Stealth Rocks, and now my Hippodon is pretty much boned. So I already switch out, so I can get a free switch later. And he used Grass Knot again, which is good, because that's what I was expecting, as I switch into Gengar. I was going to Hypnosis here, because I don't know if he wants to switch out or not. And he does, I guess, predicting the Thunderbolt. And I just use Hypnosis, and his, um, Cresselia is now asleep, which is good because I really hate Cresselia. I'm going to switch out here to Tyranitar to hopefully, um, set up some Dragon Dance, but he switches into Togekiss, which is kind of annoying for Tyranitar, actually, now that I know he has Grass Knot. So I use Dragon Dance here, actually expecting the Grass Knot, knowing I can live one with the Sandstorm. But he flinches me with Air Slash, which doesn't do a lot of damage at all to Tyranitar. Um, he misses with Air Slash, I get a Dragon Dance set up. And here I'm going to go for the Crunch, but he withdraws and sends out Gliscor, which you is just a monster. That is a lot of damage, actually, more than I thought it would. I'm going to taunt here, it's just so he can't set up stealth rocks and stuff, and roost. But his earthquake does a lot of damage, so I'm actually confused by this, because I never got hit by this much by Gliscor. So, expecting another earthquake, I'm going to switch into Gyarados, and I discover that this has Hyper Cutter. Which means this is a physical Gliscor, which is totally surprising, and that's an that's a interesting Gliscor you got there. Explode. So I'm just wondering what to do here. I decided to just go for the Waterfall to hopefully get a two-hit KO on it right now. But as you can see, he's thinking about it, because he's going to switch. And he switches into Togekiss, which is Death Fodder, and I kill it with Waterfall. And he sends out his own Gyarados. Now my Gyarados doesn't have Stone Edge, so I have a feeling I'm going to lose this uh, battle of Dragon Dances. So I send out something who I know is faster than a Gyarados after a Dragon Dance, my Choice Scarf Garchomp. And an Outrage should kill a um, attacking Gyarados, but I guess he was the bulky variety, and therefore he lived my Outrage. So he's just going to take two outrage to kill him. He can't really switch out here because he's going to die to Stealth Rock on the switch in anyway. That's a dead Gyarados. So he sends out Gliscor. It was a good move on his part because I can't kill him with the outrage. Even if it is an offensive rarity. It's, Gliscor is just a beast against physical moves. And he roosts, which is really annoying. So I send out Hippodon for the Death Fodder, he uses Ice Fang and that kills my Hippo. So I send out Gengar and I figure I can just Shadow Ball it to death. It should be a 2 hit KO, right? Now he Ice Fangs and he gets the Freeze Hacks, which is extremely gay because this thing would be dead right now. Unless he switches, but he wouldn't do that. So he roosts, and now I'm just letting him set up until I can get unfrozen. And then, eventually he sets up Stealth Rock too, as I stay frozen. And I'm seeing if I can get some ping damage before I die. No, I get frozen three turns in a row, and he kills me. It's pretty overall gay. So I'm thinking, okay, what is the chance of getting him freeze hacks? another time in a row. I send out in Gyarados so I can Dragon Dance up and hopefully kill this thing in a 2 at KO with Waterfall. But he gets the Freeze Hacks again. It's, it's, seriously. How? God damn it. <laughs> so he has Fangs here. And unfortunately I do thaw out, so... I guess that only took one turn of... 
and a whole bunch of life out of my Gyarados. So I waterfall here, and finally the Hax is returned as I get a crit. Thank God. I mean, I should have killed it with a Gengar, but this is almost as good. He sends back out, um, Priscilla, and I'm going to taunt it just so it can't call mine when it wakes up. I actually don't expect Gyarados to win this, because I don't know how long it's going to take for it to wake up. So I'm just going to hit it with Waterfall. I'm hoping it's 2-hit KO, and looking at it after that hit, I think it m will be. Which is good for me. But it's slightly below, and he wakes up, which kind of sucks, but he flinches because of the Waterfall, so... I guess my, um, hacks is also returned there, too. And from here, I'm just going to sweep the rest of his team. Waterfall will usually dispense of this Weavile here. And here comes his last Pokemon. He doesn't even bother. He just runs away here. Alright. Good game, Eric.